Well, welcome to my fall candle haul. Can't get enough of this. Being with you is like never in the sunshine. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now when you're looking like that? Can't get enough of this. Being with you is a never in the sunshine. Hello, chickadees. Welcome to my fall candle haul. Um, now I have not been on here for for a good minute. Um, we've had some challenges with uh, fostering. We've had some challenges with uh, schooling at home, and uh, we've had some health challenges. So we just had some challenges. Um, the health one is uh, pretty much taken care of, of uh, at this point. Um, my great Pyrenees and my great Dane got into a fight and I did a big no-no where I got in the middle and when the uh, great Pyrenees lunged for the great Dane that I was holding back, my arm got in the way. And I decided not to show it on camera when it was still kind of gnarly, uh, but it was bruised from here to here. It was kind of black and uh, I decided not to show that on camera. I'm not, this is not one of those channels. Um, if you follow my Instagram, then you've seen it. Um, I show a little bit more on my Instagram because I figure you can scan through a picture and not have to see that. But on a video, if you want to see candles, you really don't want to see a dog bite. So I've waited until it has mostly healed up before I get back on camera. But I would like to show you guys my fall candle haul. Now, not all of these candles were bought or waxes um, were bought this year. The first place that I shop is my home. That is always my first place to go to. I go to what I have and I shop my own storage of things. And when I have a candle that I haven't completely burnt and the season is over with, I just close it back up and put it away and I pull it back out the next year. So we're gonna start with the ones that uh, I have shopped through my own collection. But, I just absolutely loved last year and so I have brought back out especially for Halloween this was witch's brew now I'm not up to date on what Yankee Candle has and these are not all Yankee Candle uh, some of these are better homes and garden and I have a do, 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 do. what is the name of the company mainstay I have some mainstay in here as well. So I have Yankee Candle, I have Better Homes and Gardens, and I have Mainstay. So, but I'm going to start with these. Uh, this is Witch's Brew. Let's see if you can see it. This was a last year's candle, and it came in this really cute jar. And I would say it has notes of licorice and leather. And I just, I love this one for Halloween. It just gives it that really big fall, that really big fall scent. And then we also had from last year, we had Black Magic. And you can see how much I loved this candle. Um, it was probably up to here when I started burning it because I have already started burning my candles. Um, I like to have the smell of fall when I'm having to dig everything out and go through the totes and pull all of the uh, the spring and fall stuff down. Not spring and fall, but uh, all the, uh, the spring and the summer stuff down because I kind of mix that together. Um, so uh, this was the Black Magic. And I don't know exactly how to describe this one. It definitely had a little bit more of the, the leathery and the fall smell. But this was definitely my favorite out of the two. Between the Witch's Brew and the Black Magic, I definitely loved the Black Magic best. But again, these were candles from last year. Um, candles that um, I have started with this year. Now, I did not know how this one smelled. I got this one online, um, and I've been collecting these over the past uh, couple months. So these were definitely not all bought all at once. Um, this is my full fall collection. Um, this one I took a chance on. My husband uh, gifted me with a uh, Yankee Candle uh, gift card, and so I got to treat myself and buy some uh, some Yankee candles, which I normally wouldn't do. Um, so this is persimmon and brown sugar. I took a chance on this one, and I really, really like how it smells. It has that really sweet brown sugar smell, but it also has the bitter of the persimmons mixed in there. 
So I'd say it's more of a medium throw. It's not a heavy, heavy throw. So I like to add it to something sweeter. Um, this is the one that I currently burn the persimmon and brown sugar with is my salted caramel. So it kind of adds a little bit of that, you know, that, that warm pie smell with the, uh, the tart of the persimmons and the salt in the caramel and it just adds a really really rich scent to my room and I just it makes me feel so comfortable and so at home and I just I love the smell of this and this mixed together these two I just love so now moving on to the Yankee candles that I have not burnt yet this is a staple for me the kitchen spice this is a fall staple for me, absolutely. This has all of the, the spicy herbs, the clove and the cinnamon, but it has that orange scent to it that just says home to me, and I absolutely love it. But Kitchen Spice, that is a staple in my home every single fall. You'll definitely smell this. Now, what I like to mix the Kitchen Spice with is something sweeter. And this is where you'll find me getting the buttercream for fall. And I know you say buttercream for fall, that's more of a, uh, a winter, you know, baking smell. But when you have something so spicy, such as the, uh, the kitchen spice, yeah. kitchen spice, make sure I'm saying that right. And when you have something so spicy as the kitchen spice, I like to mix it with something sweeter so that it balances it out. But I love, love, love the buttercream. The buttercream just mixes with it so nice. And I also got, to add for sweetness, I got the Better Homes and Gardens Country Vanilla. This one, this one is totally different from the buttercream. Where the buttercream smells like the icing, this smells like the cake to me. So it's just, it's, Still a buttercream, it's still a vanilla smell, not a buttercream, a vanilla smell, but the buttercream has its own scent where this smells like the cake to me. And so I just, I love burning this one by itself, honestly. It's not too terribly sweet, whereas the buttercream can just be a little bit much. So next I am going to move on to, let's see. Let's go on to my pecans. So this year I tried the Bonfire Nights and this is pecan, this is the Bonfire Nights series. And this one is uh, pecan pie bites. Now this, this has a hint of campfire in it. So where you have the sweetness of the pecan pie bites it has a note of fall in it, and it's, it doesn't have any extreme burnt smell of a campfire. It's very, very subtle, um, but I just, I really, really liked this one. Um, and I really wanted to try it this year. As you can tell, I haven't burned it yet, so I can't tell you how strong the throw is, but the smell from the candle, and I keep opening it. I like to keep my new candles closed. Um, but the smell from it has a really, really pleasant uh, combination of uh, the bonfire and the pecans. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. I think that one will be a nice one by itself. And then I also have, uh, this one's from Better Homes and Gardens, the uh, Caramel Pecan. Caramel Pecan. Now this one, this one is extremely sweet. Um, I think that this will mix nice with the pecan bites and the, uh, the bon out of the bonfire series because I think it'll cut the sweetness, but it'll still give me that pecan, that caramel pecans, you know, like you had just, uh, you know, started doing baking. And I don't know if a lot of you make spiced pecans for, uh, for fall or for Christmas, but I just love the smell. And this really does have that sweet, sweet, Caramel pecans, spicy, spicy scent. Let's see what else I have. Spiced pumpkin. Note, there's a, a theme going here. There's a lot of spice. 
Now this is the traditional spiced pumpkin, and you can imagine it smells like pecan pie. Not pecan pie, but uh, pumpkin pie. So, but just a little bit spicier. Um, it smells, it smells like a uh, pecan pie, not pecan pie, I keep saying pecan pie. What is wrong with me? Blah, 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 blah. Um, it smells like pumpkin pie that has just a little bit too much cinnamon in it. But for the candle, it's just enough. So it's got that, that really good pumpkin pie smell, but with just an extra hint of cinnamon. I really like that one. And again, that one is from Yankee Candle. And then I would, I'm going to go to the Better Home, not the Better Home Cigar, but the Mainstay. This is the one candle that I have for Mainstay. I just, um, my favorite Mainstay candle is Mold Cider, and no one had it. Either they haven't gotten it in yet, or someone has just come in and just cleaned them out. Um, I saw one tiny little mold cider candle, but when they get that in, I'll definitely add that to my collection. That's another staple that I have is the mold cider by Mainstay. But I got the Mainstay Salted Caramel Butterscotch. This candle just smells yummy. Um, that's just the best way to describe it. Um, it has that wonderful, sweet butterscotch scent with just a hint of salt to balance it out, and I just love this one. Um, I cannot wait to burn it, but it is that Mainstay Salted Caramel Butterscotch. It just sounds good enough to eat. And let's see. Sticking with the, the cinnamon scent, this was a surprise for me. This is from Better Homes and Gardens. This is Spicy Cinnamon Stick. Now, this does not just smell like cinnamon sticks because I smelled uh, the one from Yankee Candle, I smelled the one from Mainstay, and this is the only one that I liked. Now, this, if you notice, it has the nice wood top. They're really trying to step up their game and uh, make their bottles and their jars, you know, much nicer. So, this one is by Better Homes and Gardens. So you pop off this nice wood top and it does smell like cinnamon sticks but it also has a hint of fall leaves mixed in with it you see that leaf on there I would say it is like a, a really good harvest smell um, minus the fruit uh, there's no fruit in this one it's just the cinnamon and the leaves and that's that really really uh, nice harvest scent to it but that one is by Better Homes and Gardens. So now we are switching to, now we're going to my fruit. For fall, this is my, my fruit staple. I get the cranberry chutney every single year. And there's just no way to describe it. It really is just a wonderful candle, cranberry chutney. It is sweet, but it is not too sweet. Um, whereas, like, the black cherry is just overwhelmingly sweet with that fruit smell. The, uh, the cranberry chutney has just enough bitter in it to cut that. But I'm going to show you the, uh, the Yankee Candle, the cranberry chutney. Again, this is another one of my staples. I get it every single year. And now we are switching to two that I have never gotten before. So I can't wait to burn these. I am really interested to see how they smell. This one is the Warm Luxe Cashmere by Yankee. I don't usually go for perfumey candles. I'm just, I've never been that type. But there was something about this one that just smelled comforting to me. And that's the only way that I could describe it. It just smelled comforting to me. And so I am looking forward to burning this one in my bedroom. Uh, but it is the Warm Lux Cashmere by Yankee. And I have a feeling it's going to give just that really nice comfy vibe to it. Now, I love the smell of lavender. Um, especially Yankee Candles Lavender. So, this year they came out with dried lavender and oak, and this was part of the Farmer's Market collection. But this, this just 
has a, a nice, it's like lavender with a nice woodsy scent to it. That's the best way that I could describe it, is lavender with a nice woodsy scent to it. But it is by Yankee Candle. It is the dried lavender and oak. You know how you walk down the, uh, the dried flower aisle and just that wonderful warm scent hits you? Well, that's what you're getting from the lavender and then you add just this woodsy scent to it as well. It's like you're walking down the dried flower aisle at the uh, craft store. And so this one I absolutely had to have. And I can't wait to see how that goes. But now we're moving on to the waxes now. I'm going to start with the new ones that I bought this year because there's only four of them. And there's only there's only three cents. Nope, not three, two cents. Two cents that I got. Um, about uh, three packs of the caramel apples. Now these are doo -doo -doo, by, I believe these are by Mainstay. doesn't exactly say but I believe no these are not by mainstay what honey what happened oh you have a tag I can cut this out go get the scissors run over there what are these by it doesn't say come here baby we're going to cut a, a tag off here. We have, Hello. We have a tag that is bothering her. Careful. Hang on. There's another tag here. Okay. There we go. Here are the scissors. Go put the scissors up. Throw these in the garbage. Thank you. Y'all ever have that where the, the tag bothers them? The majority of clothes that I try to go through and, you know, check Mommy, the there's sizes. There's another tag. There's another tag? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where is it? Oh, there's another one. Oh, Lord, how many tags are they going to have on this? Three, probably. Three? Okay, there we go. I'm Let just going to check. Let me see. <laughs> that's it. I think that's it. All right, here you go. Scissors upside down. There we go. Put that away. So, as I was saying, the majority of their clothes, and the majority of their clothes, I try to check the sizes for the next year to see if they can fit them, and I can't. Also, um, Andrew said, um, "Shh, you can tell me, lady. You can." Okay, we're telling on brother. Okay, tell him I said not to say that again. Okay. Oh my lord, the tattletaling that goes on in this house. Constant back and forth. So, but I, I was saying I tried to check the uh, the tags for the next year to see what size everything is. And I can't check the sizes because they've had me to cut the tags off because I cannot stand to have tags on their shirts or on their pants or shorts or, or their bottoms or whatever. So, um, so while I was doing that, I took a closer look at these wax melts. And honestly, I can't tell what company they're by. They were just in the Halloween section. So they were in the Halloween section of Walmart. But this is caramel apples, and I swear, it smells so good. It really does smell like a caramel apple. So these were in the Halloween section of Walmart. And they do not say what company they're by. They just say that they're made in the USA. But they, it's just yummy honestly smells like you're you're eating a caramel apple and then I have pumpkin spice latte and absolutely yes ma'am this smells like pumpkin spice latte so I wish I knew what company these were by because I would definitely be buying more of them but again that just does not say on the front all it says is made in the USA I've looked in the small print I've looked everywhere and I cannot find what company this is so if you see it this is what they look like, and you've got to open them up and try them. Now, as far as wax melts go, all the rest of these are shop at home uh, wax melts. These are waxes that I already had, but I'm showing you guys because these are the waxes that I'm going to be using. So, this is the different scents and stuff that I like. 
Um, here, I'm going to try to pull out all the ones that I got at Michael's. Let's see. Let's pull these out. I just threw them all in because I have them in a basket uh, up under in my uh, hutch. I have them in a basket. And so I just threw them all in a bag. All right. So these are all of the scents that I got from Michael's. Michael's had, uh, last year, they had some really, really good wax melts. They really upped their game with it. This one, let's see. This one was spiced citrus. And this just had, I love the smell of orange and citrus. And it's part of the reason why I like the kitchen spice candle so much. But this is just really, really good. Um, it has that really uh, nice juicy orange. It has the uh, cinnamon and the cloves. You can tell it on the front. I mean, the picture, they literally have everything that they have in there. And it smells really wonderful. Um, and this one is really small print. This one is called Kitchen Spice, but this is by Ashland by, uh, at Michael's. And this one has a much stronger smell. This is all of the spices without that orange. So I would probably do this one as we're getting closer to the end of the season if I wanted a really strong punch of spice smell. Now this one, I know that uh, the smell of patchouli is questionable to some people. Um, Either you love it or you hate it. Now, what I like to do is I like to mix it with other scents. I like to take uh, some of my fruity, especially the uh, the peachy and the orangey scents, and I like to mix it with the patchouli, and it gives it just this really nice punch of fall. So this was by Ashland, and I got these at Michael's. They had a really great sale on them, but this is straight up patchouli. And it's a really good patchouli scent. It's not overwhelmingly harsh. It's not going to kill you. Um, but I like to mix it with... Let's see if I have multiple ones here. Nope, these are different. Um, so I like to mix it with the Yankee Candle. And this is especially if I have any of this left over from summer, um, which I usually do. This is the Mango Peach Salsa by Yankee Candle. And I like to, whoops, I just threw it. <laughs> I just threw it on. There we go. Okay, so let's try this again. So I like to mix the mango peach salsa. I like to mix the mango peach salsa with the punch of patchouli. I just take one of the cubes of the patchouli and probably about two of the mango peach salsa because the patchouli, I don't want it to overwhelm it, but it just gives it this nice punch of fall and I still have the sweetness from the mango salsa. And then also I like to mix it with, here's a island mango coconut, but they both have that mango in it and it just gives it this sweetness and then it gives us this uh, punch of fall. So I like to mix these two. And that way I'm able to use up some of the rest of my, uh, my summer and spring scents that I have left. So now this is Better Homes and Gardens. This is Apple Pumpkin. Now this, is, as far as Apple Pumpkins go, I would have to say it's on the sweeter side. Um, I prefer Yankee Candles Apple Pumpkin, but... I had this, you know, this comes from Walmart, and so I decided to grab it and try it. I don't dislike it, um, and I'll definitely use it this year, but it's, it has a, uh, a sweeter scent to it where it's that sweet that kind of burns just a little bit. Um, that's the best way that I can describe it. Um, and I don't know if it's the spice that's in this or if it is just the sweetness of the apple cider smell. I think, you know what, I think that's what it is. Um, so where the Yankee Candle is just straight up apple pumpkin, this is more like apple cider pumpkin. So there you go. I think that's the best way to describe it. It's more apple cider pumpkin. 
So it's just a little bit different of a scent. Now this is an unusual one by Better Homes and Gardens. Um, and again, I got this one at Walmart last year, but they still have it. Um, it's around the campfire. This one has the marshmallow, but it also has that campfire smell. You see? And it smells like toasted marshmallow. And this one is really good for a fall night if you're just like in the mood to have that uh, that campfire smell and uh, you can't go outside and start your own campfire. Because we live here in Colorado, uh, right now we're up under a burn warning, so as far as toasting marshmallows and having s'mores or having a little bonfire or campfire out back, we're not allowed to do that right now. So every now and then when you crave that scent, this is a really, really good one. It's called Around the Campfire, and it just has a really nice toasted marshmallow scent. Now, let's see. Moving on. You guys heard that, that spritz. That's my room air freshener. Because of the, uh, I'm nuts about air fresheners and things, especially since we have the dogs. Um, I'm constantly cleaning surfaces, um, trying to get rid of that dog smell <laughs> but uh also the uh, uh a, a big stickler for your house needs to smell good it really really does it can be as clean as as it can be but if it does not smell good when someone walks in then it just doesn't feel clean to me all right so let me see again i just threw all of these in a bag here together um so i'm going to separate these just a little bit here is another around the uh, the campfire, so I'm going to put that off to the side since I've already told you about that one. Here's another peach and mango. This one is by Mainstay. If you notice a little bit of a camera shift, <laughs> it's because my camera turned off. So I think that you can see down on the bed a little bit more and see my mess that I have spread out here. Um, so I'm going to show this one. So this is the mainstay peach and mango. And what I would do is I would mix this one with the patchouli as well. So it would give it that punch of fall. And I could use up the rest of the peach and mango that I have. So I'm not wasting any. Waste not, want not. So let's see. Autumn wreath. Now I do not have an autumn wreath candle. I have not gone and visited the Yankee store this year. Any of the uh, Yankee candles that I got, either I got them online with the uh, the gift card that my husband gifted me. So sweet. Um, or I've gotten them from Walmart this year because the, the discount at Walmart was just honestly it was in line with any of the discounts that I would have been able to get at the Yankee store. So it was easily a dollar less or within a dollar or if, uh, if I would have had to have paid shipping, then it would have been more expensive to order it straight from Yankee. So I'm really glad that Walmart has that line right now. But this is Autumn Wreath. And I'm really hoping that Walmart gets this one in stock because they have the wax in stock but I have not seen the candle yet for this and I just I love this one for fall autumn wreath is it's just like the quintessential fall smell I just love it so much so for right now I'm settling for having it in the wax and again this is for my stock from last year um, you don't use everything up just Put it in a baggie or put it in with your uh, your fall stuff and pull it back out again next year. Now, these are by Yankee Handle. This is a little bit different. This is, uh, this is not the buttercream and this is not like the country vanilla by uh, Better Homes and Gardens. So the buttercream from Yankee or the uh, Better Homes and Gardens. This is Yankee Candle Vanilla Cupcake. And I would say that this has more of a baked good smell. Kind of like uh, that scent when you walk into a bakery. That scent that just kind of lingers in there from where they've been baking. But this is Vanilla Cupcake by Yankee Candle. And if you're looking for that kind of bakery scent, I would definitely suggest this one. Now, 
like I said when I was talking about the candles, I cannot find my mold cider. This is from last year. They have the waxes, but they do not have the candles in yet. This is my mold cider. I cannot wait for this candle to get in. It is a staple that I have every year. I love the scent of it. I love when I am putting up the fall and uh, Thanksgiving decorations after Halloween is over. I love to have this scent. It just, every time I walk by that candle, it just makes me feel so, it, it has such a homey feel to me. And I don't know if it's because I've used it for so many years and I register that as being homey, but to me it has a very, very homey scent to it. Now, this is the only perfumey wax that I've gotten. It's called Illusions by uh, Sense, Sense Sensationals. Um, I got this one at Walmart and it's kind of hard to see what the front cover is. Um, it's just a bunch of wavy colors in the dark, uh, but it says it has hints of cedar, musk, and a touch of mystery. So, I would describe this as being a really good masculine candle. Uh, this, not candle, but a uh, wax scent really good masculine wax scent without being overwhelmingly powerful. Like, um, oh, I can't think of what the, the scent from Yankee is. Um, midnight something or other. Um, but it's just, it's, you know, the very masculine candles that are just kind of overwhelming. Um, this one, uh, is to, I don't want to say it's tolerable, <laughs> but I like it. Um, it's very subtle, but it's definitely a more masculine scent, and so I decided to get it. You can see, I have yet to try it. So, but this is from last year, um, so I will definitely try this this year. And again, I'll probably try that in the bedroom when I'm looking for something a little bit, a little bit more romantic, a little bit less uh, foodie. <laughs> so, and then this is one of my ultimate relaxation scents, the Lemon Lavender. I just love it, it smells clean, it smells clean, it has that lavender scent, it's very relaxing to me. It just smells like you wanna go take a bath. Um, and this is one that falls over from, uh, from spring and summer for me and I still I still use it in fall so this is a big one for me so I thought that I would add it in here but it is the lemon lavender by Yankee and then the last one is the Better Homes and Gardens the sugar lavender I tried this one and it's it's really subtle it's not sweet at all um, but it is called sugared lavender by uh, Better Homes and Gardens. Again, I got this one at Walmart. This was a leftover one from last year. So I've tried it some and I really like it. It's nice and subtle. So, well that, that is my fall and wax candle, uh, candle and wax melt haul. Man, eh, tripping over my tongue. It's been a long day. Um, and I am back on camera, so uh, hopefully we should have some more videos coming for you. Um, I have been filming, I just haven't put them together in videos yet with uh, COVID going on and uh, wearing masks everywhere. I just, I haven't filmed when I go somewhere, when I get something done. Um, Again, I just I haven't filmed, so I'm gonna really try to to get more more videoing done. So it was really good chatting with you guys. I hope that you liked seeing my all of my fall scents and what I like to use in my home, uh, what feels like home for me. And oops, the kids have music coming. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming inside, so I better hurry up and wrap this up because you're going to hear them. You're going to hear the horde coming in from the uh, the trampoline. So, um, if you have yet to subscribe, make sure that you subscribe. It really does help my channel. Make sure that you uh, hit that bell so that you know when I have posted new videos because, unfortunately, it's just kind of hit or miss. It's kind of random uh, when I post. I really don't have specific dates and times, but... Uh, thank you for coming to my channel, and thank you for uh, taking your time out to uh, check out my candles and my fall scents and what I like my home to smell like, and I really appreciate your time, and I hope that you guys have a good evening.
See you guys later. Bye.